Spotlight on Frazee is sponsored by these community-minded businesses and organizations. United Community Bank, an independent, family-owned and operated bank committed to empowering customers to achieve their financial goals. Member FDIC. Frazee Family Foods, what a hometown grocery store should be. Friendly staff, family-owned and a wide variety of groceries to fulfill your needs. Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host Hank Ledke and I'm here today at the Frazee Municipal Liquor Store facility with Mindy. Heinz. How are you doing, Mindy? Good. Hi, Hank. Well, I'm doing great, and it's a, it's a great day to be in Frazee. It is. And with Turkey Days coming up, you know, I know that Saturday is going to be uh, really busy. We've got a salad luncheon next door at the event center, uh, 11 to 1. And uh, then the road rally is starting out here in the alley at 1130. And we had Soapbox Derby after that. But we've got a beanbag contest. We do. So uh, we're going to be right out front out here uh, in front of the liquor store. Registration for the beanbags is going to start about 11. You don't have to pre-register. Um, and then we're going to start the toss at noon. Um, we're going to be selling pounders out there for $3. And then also we are actually going to have the Mickelson, uh, Jill Mickelson, bring uh, her pulled turkey sandwiches and her homemade buns. So we're going to be selling turkey sandwiches with a bag of chips for $4 and have pounders outside for 3 And then, of course, you can come inside to get liquor or whatever you want, but it'll be all plastic. So, well, I really like that idea that we're going to have some uh, pulled turkey sandwiches here on Saturday. Me too. Well, you know, it's going to be such an interesting day. You know, and after that, of course, there's a turkey bingo that's going to be going on in the event center one to four, and then we got the kids' duck house building contest down by the bank, the VFW, and then the. Uh, kids pedal tractor pull and we got beard competition and, and water fights spaghetti uh, supper at the event center for the uh, neighbor to neighbor group and uh, excuse me maybe it isn't neighbor to neighbor uh, Which one here? this one here Miss Frazee and oh, Miss Teen Pageant. Excuse me, Miss Frazee and the Miss Teen Pageant we have going. And then we've got a street dance that night. And fireworks at 10 o'clock that costume night. Costume contest at the street dance. And a costume contest at the street dance. Superhero costume contest. Superhero costume contest. That's right. Because this year it's calling all superheroes. <laughs> da -da -da -da. No. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to be? I'm not sure. I gotta think about that one. You're, you aren't coming as I a Hulk. <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> nope, nope. We'll leave that one to Cody. But <laughs> no, if I might make up my own superhero, I'm not sure. But I don't know if you can win if then no one knows what you are. <laughs> That's true. You know, if you come as a rock, you know, you'd be probably picked up and moved by the city boys out of the parking lot. <laughs> that might be fun. <laughs> But I know that we're going to be swept away. Yeah. <laughs> in in the parking lot out here, outside the building, will be uh, barricaded off. Mm -hmm. So you'll be uh, any access will be off of Ash Avenue or coming in the alley off of uh, Lake Street Highway 87. And there will be a big tent set up too, so there'll be plenty of shade for people to sit down and eat and beanbag play. Yeah, and I know we're bringing tables out too from down in the basement. Oh, great! <laughs> <laughs> I'm I got to be part of that committee to put all those away. <laughs> I, I I've been on that group before. <laughs> well, Mindy, I appreciate you being on the program, and I think this is going to be a, just a world class turkey days. Thanks you. Thank you. I'm excited for it. And with that, we'll be right back with another segment of Spotlight on Frazee. Spotlight on Frazee is sponsored by these community-minded businesses and organizations. The City of Frazee and Frazee Events Center, featuring a 5,000 square foot room, a built-in stage and a full service bar, perfect for a multitude of events. Call or click to book your event. Frazee Community Club, people and business coming together to make the community fun, friendly and thriving. Become a member and help support your community. Frazee Vergas Forum, locally owned and operated, Bringing you news for the Lakes area in print or online. Subscribe today, FrazeeForum.com. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here today with Brecker Ware, one of our firemen. And Brecker is doing a historic 
history walk in Frazee this year. How's it going, Bricker? Good. Good to see you, Mayor. And go ahead. Well, the history walk is going to start up by the clinic in Frazee. And we're going to talk about the creamery and really just going to talk about the history of Frazee right away, which leads into the sawmill. And we're going to follow up. What street's out here, Mayor? Second. We're going to follow up Second Street to the back side of my property. We're going to walk on some other people's property that don't know it yet. And then eventually look at the old sawmill site, head over to the high school, talk about that. And then eventually talk about the Methodist churches and the other churches in town. And then end up by the Goose Pond and then walk all the way up Main Street and just talk about some of the history of Frazee, the buildings, the inside stories, the outside stories. So yeah, that's kind of what the plan is. I don't want to give away too much, uh, but don't have your expectations too high because it is my first time. <laughs> well, it'll be a good time. I mean, you know, there is so much history here when you f feel f realize that the Matisse came through here with the ox carts in, back, you know, in the between 1830 and 1850. It's amazing to think that oxen were walking you know right right out here about a, a half a block from where we sit yes that was Frazee's first major highway you know it third crossing correct and then uh, we became Detroit yes we did Frazee wasn't our first name no and, it wasn't and I don't think it was our second name either no I don't know what our second name was but I do know I'll have the answers if you come on the history tour <laughs> And then, eventually, we did become Frazee 126 years ago. Yes, R.L. Frazee was the first guy to kind of name uh, name it. Well, you know, and it was interesting because I know that they looked at Frazee, uh, people from, that had been in Fergus Falls and, and, and saw how the otter tail worked there and what the fall was, they, they said, well, uh, Frazee or Third Crossing will be the, the next... Fergus Falls because of the drop in the river here. I did not know that. Well, yeah, that's why they started the mill here. All right. Well, I guess I just thought it was a great place to live and start a <laughs> and and have a sawmill and a flour mill, which the flour mill was one of the uh, the while it was running the top in the area. Everyone wanted the flour from Frazee. Oh yeah, it was a state of the art mill in in northern Minnesota, actually probably the upper Midwest. Correct. So, you know, it's great to see how this stuff goes, you know, and realizing, you know, that we're, we were right here at one point in time, 200 years ago, you were in the middle of a forest of uh, 100, 150 tall, foot tall pine trees. Yes, uh, and when the logging came, it, uh, it gave us what we have today. <laughs> I wish I had some of those logs back besides just the one we have at our El Frazee Park. True. <laughs> Well, Bricker, you know, Turkey Days is going to be interesting. We've got a few seconds here to talk about this. I know, like, Saturday morning, I see we've got, you know, the Dolores uh, Smith Memorial Turkey Trot starting at uh, registration 630 and starting at 8. But, right, you know, right at the, about that same time, we got the biscuits and gravy breakfast over at the event center from 730 to 1030. That's one of my favorite deals. I mean, I got, that's probably what only time of the year I eat biscuits and gravy. Anytime you get biscuits and gravy, you can't go wrong there. <laughs> but I appreciate you being on the program, Bricker. We're, we're going to bid you guys adieu. Remember, uh, pet the dog, hug the kids, kiss the wife, and wave at the neighbor. The next person you wave at could be your next best friend. And we're going to catch you next week on Spotlight on Frazee, where we are going to talk about calling all superheroes again for Turkey Day. I am known as History Man Turkey Day Weekend. We'll see you next week.